RD Work is a program that helps you to communicate with the CO2 laser machine. In this video, we will explain how to install it and how to work with the file in it. Hi, this is Watson, the best channel about CNC. Introduction First and foremost, depending on the version of the RD works you use, the design and the location of the certain siding are vary. But the fundamentals are always the same, so don't worry if something looks a little different in your case. Installation uh, We start with the installation file, which we need to open. Select the install in the menu, wait for the installation to finish, and take a look at the menu that appears on the screen. Once you see it, Connect the machine to the computer via the USB cable and click the install USB drive. After the installation, you can select the language in the menu. We choose the English, leave the type windows as it is. In the origin window, you select the starting point. Its location is related to the end sensor. For all was a machine, this is the upper right corner. In the size window, select the unit of the measurement you prefer, millimeter or inches. Now click the install to accept the setting and exit. The first stage is complete. System settings. Now you have an RD Works shortcut on your desktop. But we can't work like this right away. We need to introduce the program to the machine because it doesn't yet know what its field is. Open RD Works, find the config in the menu and click the system settings. Now in the page size window, set the length and width of your machine's working area. You can also choose the number of working heads. For example, if you have a Watson 1610 drills, just set the number to 2 in the head number window. The auto fresh page setting option is required, so that the program automatically sets the sheet size to the size of the workspace. Each time, the machine is connected to the computer. In the homing position window, you can re-enter the start point if you haven't done so before, or just check it. Now, let's look at the tool available. Interface RD Works has three main panels. The toolbar on the left, the setting panel on the, at the top, and the cutting and engraving control panel on the right. The toolbar allows us to create and edit lines, simple objects, and text. We can also mirror them horizontally or vertically, center data, and create metric copies. We will be discussing the cutting and the engraving control panel in another video on the RD Works. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss it. The settings window let us create the new files, import and export them. Here are also the undo and redo functions, zooming and many other special tools, such as angle routing, now we can start working, but we need a file to work with. Let's use the setting window. Import RD Works supports raster and vector format, BPM, JPG, AI, PLT, and others. The full list is shown on the screen. Note, however, that it does not work with the Core CDR format. So, when importing from this program, just choose one of the formats listed. Also, specify this format in the technical specifications if you are working with the designer. So, where to get the design? You can find the trial ones on the internet. See the amid.com and victorsfiles.com or download the one we attached in the description of the video. Anyway, we don't recommend using them for the commercial purpose. Design from websites are only good for studying and learning. After you download the file, return to the RD Works, select the File tab, then Import. Or you can use the special button on the control panel in the upper left corner. In the drop down file type window, it will most likely be set to support file. We recommend not changing this setting. Now choose your file and voila! Working through the controller and the USB drive, you can start files in two ways, via the computer or via the controller. We have the Ruida controller, we will show it as an example. To make the machine understand your design templates, 
In RD works, you should save them in the RD format, not RLD. The machine only understands the first option, so transfer the file to the flash drive. Find two button, your file output, and save to your file. The first one is for the uploading the files from the flash drive. The second is for loading them onto it. Note that a file saved on the USB memory device cannot be run directly from it. It must be saved on the controller. Connect the USB and do the following. Press file, then select the U-Disk memory, where it will be located. Select it and press enter. The file will be copied to the machine's memory. Now you can start working with the file. In the laser work window, there is the start button. When it's pressed, the machine starts cutting or engraving right from the position, where its head was at that moment, whether in the corner or in the center of the working area. To prevent this, use one of the values in the position drop-down window, the original button, or move the head with the arrow. The pause continue buttons are self-explanatory. They are used to pause or resume the operation of the machine. The stop button stops the work. The download button helps us upload the current files to the controller's memory along the settings. Speaking of which, you can change the any parameter in the ID work. While well, the controller can only change two basic parameters, such as power and speed, keep this in mind. Now you are ready to work. But wait, how exactly do you set up the cutting and the engraving? Find out in the next video. Like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Write in the comments if you have any questions. This is Watson, see you in the next video.